I just got my audio working properly before it was cutting out my voice and was recording really low. I had to mess around with two different uh, settings of bass boost, of microphone boost, I mean. And now I'll see if I can load up Flight Gear and record. I'm recording at 8 frames per second with Cam Studio. Cam Studio. This model has my separated uh, SSMEs, the Space Shuttle main engines. And I gotta wait for this to load. Takes a minute. And I'll cut this out or speed up through it in the uh, video once I edit it. Okay. I got them attached, I believe, in the right correct location. They're centered up pretty good. So that looks nice. I didn't have to change any settings. There's only one model of the SSMEs, and that's engine number one. Uh, and that has a 0x, zero 0x, zero 0y, zero and 0z zero access. Uh, because I didn't change the orientation point, which is somewhere around in here in the model. If I was to take the model and change the point of origin for the engine, it should actually be around this area. Get this turn here. I can figure this out should be right around this area for the uh, main placement and that will give an easier animation but since it's located around this area the center point it may rotate around that center point and cause it to rotate like in a big huge circle like that when it shouldn't it should just be rotating around this little piv a little pivot point right here so that's what I mean by the pivot point when I'm talking about that. And that's all with different offsets and stuff. I'm not sure how Flight Gear deals with all that stuff. But uh, the model, I didn't alter anything in it. I'd like to put the pivot point right there so there's uh, less of an offset when rotating. Okay, now I'm going to try to start this paused. I can find the settings. Okay, start paused someplace here. joystick controller is set up and it's it doesn't have a um, the springs removed in the uh, up down movement of the uh, throttle I have to remove the springs so that way I could leave it uh, all the way down instead of where it naturally goes to the center and it's a PS3 controller not gonna mess with anything else. Let's run this and see how it goes. And pause is P. So once I get everything figured out, making sure that the uh, joystick is set up and I get the right view to launch. Changing the view now. And there's going to be some lag in this because I'm recording while I'm also playing the game. That's the view I want. I will hit P and we are going. sort of 
loud in my ears. Get the roll right. It's a little bouncy. Because my joystick control. Just went mock. I don't know how to jettison yet. And I've been throttled up this whole time, so, uh. Getting closer to space. Some lag. SRB separation. I don't know how to do that yet. We'll get back up there. Just take the SRBs into space with me. Okay, I gotta figure out the uh, separation of the SRBs. That is going to be launch SRBs. This point should be on your launch course out of the atmosphere around 200,000 feet. Most of your thrust. I don't know if they should separate automatically. I think they might drop automatically. And for all this stuff down here, keyboard for all the way down, I'm using my joystick. And that's a PS3 controller, which works fairly good. Uh, I'm gonna have to figure out how to drop the SRBs. I don't think that does it automatically. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it does do it automatically. I think I went straight up and it doesn't, it's not supposed to go straight up. But, now I'm rolling around. Whoa. This is where I started to tumble before. See if I can get this gun under control. I gotta turn around here, get my arrow back in the direction that I'm supposed to be in. 
site. I'm gonna stop this recording so it's not so huge. It's gonna be over a gigabyte just as far. So I'm gonna stop this video and record another one from this pause point. Well, my altitude is right over here. It's 168 kilometers. My vertical speed is 844 meters per second. And I'm probably way off course. Got engine status down here, showing the SRBs are gone. This is the uh, main engines. And I'm trying to follow this arrow, trying to get back on course, but I may be spending too much time doing that, just wasting fuel. Let's see how it goes. I'm going to hit P again and make sure everything in my controls are set up where I left off. that angle back, right? Once we get some animations on the uh, pitch yaw roll and stuff for the uh, flaps, I'll be able to see where my controller is actually putting everything. But I think I'm just wasting fuel right now. Ooh, going around in circles. I don't know if I'm actually orbiting or not, but I'm... Hmm. I'm gaining altitude, I know that. But that was a uh, sort of fun launch. I'm going to keep going until the uh, until the uh, main tank, that tank is uh, gone. Should be going for another maybe minute and a half, two minutes. And then Jeez. I'll try to land someplace. Ooh -wee. Um, what, what's, what's my mock? Holy cow. Tumbling all over the place. Just trying to stabilize as a pain. speed. I'm only at Mach 1.3 because I'm tumbling all over the place. Should be at Mach like 17 by now. But I'm just going to keep going until back through the atmosphere.
lost in space. Let me see this setting again. I don't know if I'm in which mode I'm in. Switch R2. CS. There we go. clouds. There's Earth. Went to the far side of Earth. Wow. Yeah, control back. That's my speed. Mach 3. I have no idea where I'm going to be landing. That was a nice abort, though. After I started tumbling. Can't believe I actually managed to get control back. And I'm right around an airport someplace. Gotta figure out the speed brake.
to launch and abort. Without dying. We'll stop. See, my joystick automatically centers. Giving me some thrust, so... I don't want that. But anyways... That's it for the, sp for the space shuttle. I managed to land without... Land and abort without, uh... Destroying completely the aircraft. It's probably damaged quite a bit, though.